In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to sidechain using Fruity Peak Controller in FL Studio. Let's say you have a kick and a bass in your project, and you want the bass to duck every time the kick hits. Here's how you can achieve that effect. First, make sure you have your kick and bass in separate channels in the mixer. Now, let's focus on the kick channel. Add a Fruity Peak Controller to this channel. You can find it in the Effects section of the browser. Once you've added the Fruity Peak Controller to the kick channel, it's time to link it to the volume slider of the bass channel, or whatever parameter you want to control. Right-click on the volume slider of the bass channel and select Link to Controller. In the Link to Controller window, set the Internal Controller to Peak LFO under Internal Controller. Next, click on the Mapping Formula drop-down menu and select Inverted. This ensures that the bass volume decreases every time the kick hits. Now, every time the kick hits, the Fruity Peak controller will automatically lower the volume of the bass, creating that classic sidechain effect. And that's it. That's how you can use Fruity Peak controller for sidechaining in FL Studio. It's a powerful tool for getting your mix sounding clean and professional.